No, that's not smog. That's smoke. And no, that's not uh, that's not my hair dryer moving the trees. It's wind. And yeah, there's a reason I'm not wearing my shirt because it's hot. What does that tell you? It tells you you better get all your hoses ready. This is a quick little video, because I don't have time to do a longer one, about how I'm going to defend my property against uh, fire that may come. Um, you know, we're in a beautiful spot. However, we're in a wildland interface, which is gorgeous, uh, except extremely frightening if, uh, you know, there are fires everywhere and all the fire trucks are gone. And if one starts here, no one's coming. So I'm assuming that if a fire starts down there, no one's coming. Now I've gotten ready for this day a little bit. Uh, we have fire sprinklers in the house. We have fire sprinklers. Uh, they, they, when they require fire sprinklers, good idea. When the fire sprinklers go on in the house, house is already like fully lit and done. But, uh, but anyway, they'll require that you get an inch and a half water main. Now inch and a half water main, that's inch and a half right there. That's a big pipe. That'll let 40 gallons a minute, 50 gallons a minute through it. Whereas a typical line is five eighths and it's even smaller than this one here. This is a three quarter inch line, but it's hooked up to inch and a half um, main line. So that gives it uh, probably double the capacity of a five eighths. Most houses only have five eighths. However, if you have an inch and a half water line with a newer house with fire sprinklers, this is something that uh, you should know. Since you have inch and a half uh, inch line coming in, that means you have 50 gallons a minute instead of like maybe, or maybe 60 or even more versus like, uh, you know, 12 or 15, um, which is more typical. So you have uh, four times more water and you can take advantage of that by putting in uh, fire hose taps, which this one is here. That's a gate or that's a ball valve in the back. I put all these in 20 years ago getting ready for this day. And these are all over the property. And there's my, my inch and a half male adapter. You can run down to these companies, like look up CR Fireline. They're in Pacheco, California. They will sell you these fire hoses, uh, 50 footers, 75 footers, 100 footers for like, maybe like a third of their normal cost. And the way they do it is, uh, uh, and we'll go down and take a look at this. The way they do it, We'll continue this when I'm standing in front of the fire hose. How's that? And so if all you have is a 5 8 inch line, you know, uh, some water is better than none, right? So I'm actually setting up multiple hoses all over. We can probably, we could run one inch and a half line on this property and put out a ton of water, or we could run three or four smaller lines. So I'm going to put the smaller lines out all over multiple locations. And the idea is, you know, you got to use your judgment on fighting a fire, whether you should even do it or not. <laughs> yes. The safest thing to do is to get out of there. But, you know, some people are going to stay, try to help out. I actually did that once. I'll show you some pictures. When I was 16 years old, I saved our house in Lafayette. About five houses burned down, including the next door neighbors. Uh, no one came for quite a while. I was on top of a hill. It took forever for the police to get there or the uh, fire department. And so um, it was me and my hose. <laughs> And I was also shirtless because I just got out of the shower and I looked up and the sun was gone. I realized there was a huge fire coming over the hill. Uh, and I uh, got up on the roof and hosed everything down. I finally got to a point where the next door neighbor's house was fully incinerated above me with huge pine trees also above me whose flames were twice as high as the palm trees and the cinders were coming down and singeing my back. I realized, okay, I should just leave. And I started to leave. And finally a truck came up the hill and was going to pass our house. And then I convinced them to park in front of it. And uh, dude jumped off the truck, ran up onto the roof with an ax and started hacking shingles off that were burning and threw them onto the lawn. And then that uh, followed a day of chaos. But they let me stay up there. They don't let you do that anymore. Stayed up there and helped the dudes fight it. And uh, I was their watchman on top of the roof and had to do, uh, alert the guys to come back over because it was coming back a different direction and they they did and put it out otherwise the house would have burned down a second time but uh but anyway here's your inch and a half water line right here um you get your nozzle and uh it's got a big fan action on it 
and it's also it also has a uh, a big long stream. The stream will go about 40 feet, it's an inch and a half water line. This is uh, 75 feet. These are brand new hoses, except they were put inside buildings, and uh, in their fire uh, hose canisters, they were their their holsters or whatever you want to call it. And they were never used, but they have to replace these brand new hoses every so many years. And when they do, you can buy these hoses as used, even though water has never run through them. And so that's what we do. We've got three of these here. We probably should have even more. I'm gonna go hook it up for you, show you that. Okay, here's my beloved garden, which I hope will be here tomorrow. Um, and uh, here's another one of my inch and a half tap points. Now this piece here is critical. All right, let me show you what this piece does. Um, well, we don't even need to unscrew it, but we will anyway. This is an adapter. When you have PVC threaded pipe, it's gonna be standard pipe thread, these threads. However, if you look at these threads, they don't match. See how much bigger, how more spread apart? These are, these are hose threads. So you need to, this won't go on here. Look. So you have to have these adapters, which have the pipe thread on the inside, female, wait, can you see that? Female on the inside, male on the outside. The males are the pipe thread that's spread out, more coarse, more fine thread on the inside. Put that on top. Now what this is here is I got lazy and I did not put a valve here, I just put a cap. And what I'm gonna have to do, I had to turn the water off for the whole entire irrigation system. Uh, and which is separate from the house system that feeds the water sprinklers uh, on the inside of the house. So we're not under any risk by turning that water off for the minute. And we put that on here, right? Uh, so the water's off. And puppy, yeah. go turn the water on. Run, 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 run. Pretend there's a fire. Let's, this is not a drill. Actually, this is a drill. It's a drill. There she goes. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this on here and when I turn my water system on, I'll be live for the whole property, but in addition, I'll be live here, and uh, I can leave the hand valve shut on the fire hose, which is right here, you'll see. And uh, then my daughter can soak this property down really good, get it nice and wet, while I run to the store and get a valve, a standard, uh, probably a uh, brass inch and a half ball valve. Uh, and I'll use that to separate the water. Uh, so we're not relying upon this, uh, not, you know, this, this valve's good enough for this hose, it'll leak though. But we can actually turn it off over there. If we have a real valve, that'll be a permanent improvement, which I should have done long ago. Then uh, we won't, uh, you know, it'll be more kosher if you know what I mean. <laughs> So right now we're gonna wait for Muffy to turn this on. We're gonna stretch it out, have it totally ready to go in case a fire was to happen to come on a day where there's gonna be no, very little resources to defend it. So I also know when you're on top of a hill like I am, these fires are really easy to put out right away if they're not that big. The bigger they get, the harder they are to put out. They get exponentially bigger every minute. Um, and it's gonna take the fire trucks a long time to get up these hills because they're loaded full of water. So you do have an early opportunity to knock something down that's not so big. But again, you know, you don't wanna be a hero, you wanna get out while you can, because there's people out there that can't tell the story that never got out. So, there we go. All right, here's another tap point, and here's uh, not the best way to have all of your valve wire connections. I've been here for 20 years, it's worked. <laughs> They could be a little better than that, but anyway, whatever works. Here's my uh, inch and a half tap point on this side of the house right here. And as you'll see, uh, there's my hose. It's ready to go. So we're gonna have several ready to go. And uh, this is most likely where the fire would come from. The only real chance we have is to just wet everything down before the fire gets here and hope that it doesn't uh, progress. But when you have a canopy like this, <laughs> You know, it gets hot enough, and there's enough wind, nothing will stop it. This little inch and a half will be nothing. You'll have to, you'd have to have 10 air tankers continuously to put a fire out that's coming up here with massive wind. So 
Um, but anyway, small fire. It's not too hot, not too much wind. You got a great chance of uh, knocking it down or getting everything so wet that it bypasses you. And that's the idea. So as you can see, sometimes these hoses, uh, <laughs> although they're new, they might have a nick in them, but it's not a big deal. And uh, I've got my firefighting crew ready to go. They're getting training. Turn that thing on, Mop. Boom. Huh? Yeah, you like that? Shoot Rhea. Get Rhea. Get Rhea. No. Shoot her. Get Rhea. Get Rhea. No. No, 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 oh, oh. No. All right, so as, like, use, show everybody how you can use a nozzle for a different pattern. Ah. All right. Now, Rhea, go to the other hose and see if we can run two hoses at once. It's over here. It's right up here. Look how fast, look how wet we can get this whole area. We've only been running the hose for like a minute. That's an inch and a half hose. It's absolutely, okay, wait. Really important to not cause erosion. You don't want to hit the dirt in any one spot for very long. Hear that, Matt? Yep. All right, and we're gonna, just going to saturate everything. We'll see if we can run two hoses at once. Huh. Okay, I know. I have to turn one more valve on for that one. Let me go get it. Golden Gate Palms Fire Department department here. Here we go. So as you can see, Rhea has pretty good pressure on her hose. Okay, now, you don't want to blast too hard in the dirt. You want to spread it out, maybe. Get it long and go pretty far. Or uh, get it in a fan shape. Spread it out. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. So we are ready to roll. So this is what you can do if you put inch and a half water out on your property, there's no way you could do this with a garden hose. So, Mop, are you feeling more confident? Yeah. Think we're gonna survive it? Yep. Maybe. It'd be a terrible garden to lose, wouldn't it? Have to start all over? I've been built 20 years in, in the works. What do you think about that? How old are you? 20. 20? Yeah, your whole life, basically. I've been working on this garden. All right, so hopefully it won't be an issue. Well, having flashbacks. Having flashbacks. Here's my TV debut when I was 16 years old. Uh, after a big, 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 big wildfire. And I was at home. That's where I stood on top of the roof uh, where I got it all wet. And uh, here's some of the aftermath. This is where the fire came up. There's Highway 24 in Lafayette. They were chipping down here and the fire raged up. Came all the way up this gully. They were chipping right down there. That's the chip pile. And then it just took out 10 homes in a matter of no time. There's a, one of the houses up the street. And uh, that was our backyard. That's where I was with the hose fighting this thing. Happened to be home during summer. Came home from summer school at 12. And there's the next door neighbor's house. <laughs> huge pine trees. This is what we're uh, coming down on top of me. And that's when I finally decided I needed to leave. Um, got our deck. We ended up getting a new deck. And uh, there's uh, there's the deck right there. There's the uh, surfboard. And uh, whenever I got hot and I was burning, I was just jumping into the pool. So here's the fire from the next door neighbor's point of view. There's the deck. It came up over the ridge and it was just an inferno. There's our upper deck. You can jump from this deck into the pool. Here's the house up the street. This was 1986. And uh, so anyway, there's the <laughs> chimney. That's the house next door. I was between my house and that house from this vantage point fighting this fire before there were any firefighters there. Another house down the street that burned up. A uh, house down below us that lost their garage. And uh, so that's the story. And uh, hopefully we can uh, dodge another bullet. Our ranch almost burned down yesterday in winters, but I think we're finally out of the woods there. And uh, now I've got some disciples to help me out. <laughs>